Sponsored by Win-Win Technologies. A special attachment for additional buttons. It's up to you. Reality or function? Hello valued viewers, I hope you're doing wonderfully well. Lots of World War II missions at the moment, which is great because I love the World War II missions. Much less fun. Bean, what's going on today? Hey Cap, thanks. Yeah, uh, so this is, idea with mission is uh, basically I set up a bit of a sandbox for us to use any time we need to backfill if a mission gets cancelled and we fancy doing a World War II mission. So I've basically populated the channel map with lots of different targets, um, both ground targets, um, naval targets, uh, and the ability to kind of spawn either AI um, air targets for either red or blue to attack. Um, and so yeah, we're trialing it out and see how it goes. The idea is it's just before Operation Overlord, so uh, you know there were quite a lot of tactical fighter strikes across the channel. Uh, you'll see that the sheet is much reduced to what I usually produce, uh, and the idea for that is to try and keep a bit of uh, uh, operational security, try and keep it a bit of a mystery to both sides as to what they're going to do. I have to say, I've kind of weighted it tonight a little bit in the favor of, of Blue 4. Um, so uh, apologies to Red 4, you'll, you'll, you'll probably still give us a bounding, but uh, yeah, it's weighted a bit towards the Allies to try and kind of reflect the fact that you've got quite powerful late war airframes and also, you know, it is quite late in the war, so um, already the Luftwaffe have been quite hammered. Uh, I think what we'll do is I'll give an overall briefing and then what we'll need to do is split into um, blue and red groups. Um, so then, you know, red can disappear off down into their red discord. Um, and then I can actually give you the, the various targets for, for tonight, if that's okay with everybody. Well, there's high and a 109, so we're all doomed anyway. Well, yeah. <laughs> Beam, when I was signing up today, I didn't actually look down the page. I didn't realize there was Red 4. Do you want me on Red 4? I'm more than happy to be on Red 4. As it's, you like, Cap. Uh, it's totally as you like. Yeah, go on. I'll do that. It's just okay. going to even it up a bit. I'll be uh, in, cool first. Yeah, sure. No problem. I mean, like I said, you know, there's the ability for me to spawn in some red AI to attack uh, the, the the blue 4 if needs be or vice versa. You know, it's, it's a complete movable feast. So, um, you know, if Red 4 decide they don't want to go and fight the human players, they can go and do a strike against the blue 4 radars or blue 4 ports or whatever they want to do. So, you know, it's completely movable feast. Um, I guess the, the main thing I want to talk about before we separate is that I've put Fog of War on tonight. That was a deliberate choice for F10 map um, because what Fog of War does is it feeds off the radars that are in there. There's actual Freya um, German radars and then I've put in very early um, Russian EWRs for the home chain side. So uh, what I've noticed in testing is that if aircraft go parallel to the radar, they notch and they disappear from F10. Um, also, if you destroy the radar, then obviously they disappear from F10. And you can also use those radars for uh, like an AWACS in your F10 menu. So I think it gives a bit more realism um, to having F10 on with everything or having nothing at all. So I thought that'd be quite fun to try. Um, the uh, On the Luftwaffe side, I'm afraid none of you have your magic juice of MW50 tonight. I gave you all what? extra fuel instead. I know, just to try and make it a bit harder for you. Uh, and uh, just to let you know that obviously, yeah, Red 4, you're not going to know what the targets that Blue 4 are hitting. And I've also put in some dummy flights as well. So um, when you look on F10 and you see a group of B-17s, you don't know which one is is the players. So um, And the same with Mosquitoes, etc. So yeah, it should be a bit of fun. Um, Cap, I don't know if you want to go through the flights and then we'll break up into Blue and Red. Um, blue, Chevy, Escort, Rhino Chopsticks, Blight, Dodge, Empty... Cult, Strike, Ello, Whistler, Roadkill, Grump, Pontiac, Empty, Ford, Mosquito, Tuxor, Bean, Springfield, Spitfire, Artie, Shrap, Jakal, Enfield, Spitfire, Spaceship, Andres, Uzi, Empty, Red, Kufers, Kai, Hi, maybe Cap, I haven't decided yet, Simba, Anton, Red, Makabu, uh, Doris, Matrix, Cover, Gak, and push. Right, let's split up, guys. Welcome to Red 4 Briefing or something. Well, you don't have MW50, which is extremely problematic, but we're going to do our best, guys. I would suggest let's, let's go for planes we can outgun, outclass, which are the B-17s and the Mosquitoes, question mark. Uh, whatever difference that yeah, makes. My yeah, it makes well. sense. But uh, the only snag is I suspect the B-17s will be up around 25,000 feet. Mm -hmm. The Dora should still be able to get up there, even on natural juice true but it might be a bit slow yep 
Cap, you want to lead the 109 flight, I'll go as your number two with and Simba. Roger. So my only concern with going out to the B-17s is are we really going to do enough damage with just, you know, seven or eight fighters? I mean, they take a lot of ammo. You're not going to do shit, ammo. and you are going to get shot down because of Wagner laser cannons, to be honest. So maybe we don't touch the B-17s? Yeah. I mean, it's just, it just, it's just a quick way to get frustrated, to be honest. Yeah, and they're going to have the P-51s up there for top cover. Roger. There's also, awesome. we want to avoid the spits. I mean, getting in the spit, getting in a contact with the... To be honest, we want to avoid any of their fighters because we're just so hamstrung. Mosquitoes, we need to find those mosquitoes and shoot them. Simple well, as well. We, should, yeah. we should be able to outrun the mosquitoes and the Mustangs on the deck. I mean, we'll, we're faster on the deck. In the not, not with MW50, you're not. You're down, you're down three, four hundred horsepower. They're more powerful than you and they're lighter than you. Maybe the 109 against the speed would be a little faster, but we're going to have to stay... Don't turn with the speed, definitely. And uh, hit and run tactics, I mm -hmm, guess. Mm -hmm. Stay fast. Energy status is the only thing I think we can beat them on. Energy status. Mm -hmm. yeah. yep. Got to struggle to outrun them without the MW50. Yep. So dive in, hit, run up high. It's the, it's the only thing we've got we can do that they can't. Yeah. Because they've got to you know, attack at whatever they're going to be attacking. So, so cruise around high, dive down on stuff, give it a zap zap, pull away, get back up high. Stay close to a wingman to clear your six also that would be a good idea. No. We might as well go around as, as three as the three three ship. Yeah, yep. Yeah. We'll cover each other. I'll try to stay close and uh, mm -hmm. we give good six calls and everything. It's gonna be fun. So if it's uh, overcast at seventeen thousand feet, what height do you want to cap at? Below that, uh, say 12, 10 to 12. Okay, good idea. Maybe we could split it, have the doors up about 20 or so, so we get visibility above the clouds, and then we have the 109s and the Antons below. Yeah, yeah it, it's uh, 3 8, so it should be a fair, fair, fair number of gaps. On the map, do we know where we want to go? Is it literally just uh, straight of Dover and just fly around there? Looks yeah, it looks like we're going to be doing a bar cap. Yeah, we don't know the on targets. The, we don't know on the, the coast. Yeah, yeah. Suggested the doors go up above uh, the clouds, sort of off Calais, and uh, you get the Antons and Cavers to lower to the uh, southwest and northeast. All right. But not too far away from the main line between Folkestone and, say, Calais. Mm -hmm. um, I think the Mosquitoes will come in with their escort at lower level. So the Antons and the Covers could do them, and the doors will look for the B-17s. Hopefully they'll be contrailing. 109's taxiing. Let's bring and do it, man. Egg B-9-109. Check ready. Me taking off the start and leading. This is highly irregular, valid humanoid. Just gonna check the map to figure out where we're going. I can see the mosquitoes on F10 map already, guys. I'm gonna set a course and intercept their faces. We're there. Right, so all we've got to do is set a course for. This is stupid having the baddies on F10 map. It's so cheating and stupid. But that's what Bean wants. That's what Bean gets. Let's catch them early. We're going in for 300. Kufus are going. You with me, hi? You with me, hi? God damn it, hi. What's the problem now? Home check high. I can't get hold of high again, he's gone again. I don't know where he is. The valid viewers, it's just us on our own looks of it. One guy never turned up and high has gone missing.
connection, but I'm back up. I'm rolling right now. I'll catch up. You can probably pretty much wet as you've got no MW50. I'm 300, climbing, climbing two and a half degrees. Roger, 300. I'm rolling right now. Rolling right now. Right, coordinate, coordinate the rudder. I'm at three kilometers altitude. It's pretty high. Caps just reached four kilometers altitude. Such a beast, this aeroplane is. Bro, well, you're unpacking one kilometer. Roger, I'm going to do a left 360. Alright. Roger, thank you. I wonder where those doors are. There they are. Hello, John Rose. Ich bin ein Dora. There they are. Hey, boys. Hey boys.
come off the gas a bit, Cavi, or a little faster than that. You got tally on anything, Cavi? Are you doing radar? Uh, radar, I'm looking around. It looks like we got two P51s down low, or one like on the deck. Don't touch them. Crazy, I am a little too low, aren't I? Jesus. Okay. Tally bandits low, 9 o'clock. Alright, remember, we're not urging to fight them in England, so don't do anything crazy, crazy. Well, we're almost going to make landfall. If we turn back, we can swing on the 6 of Grump and Whistler. I would rather be tactical, go flank them, and then come in behind them. Because we can't beat them on a head-on charge. Yeah, we're behind them. If you roll over the left, we're behind them. Alright, go, alright, go. Only shoot when you point blank. Oh, they know you're there. See down there, see down there. They're trailing water, they're that low. Or they're, one of them might be smoking. Yep, tally. Guys, watch the compression of the wings when you dive. Compression. You, just giving yourself away, sir, by flying too low. 700. Hi, right, we're attacking, we're attacking. On the deck, halfway yeah, between the channel. Roger, we're doing that guys. I'm going to go for the trail. Cap's going for the one that's making the, all the water. I got one here, real low, real low. Big chef relay for Whistler, go. Advisor, you have interceptors heading on your way. We are moving south to try to uh, join up and divert them. Hopefully, copies, uh, do you have a direction on them? In our dish. Okay, we've got Cap in, it's uh, warmer. Yeah, if firm, if firm, we got interceptors uh, coming in on us. I don't have a direction though. I'm trying to look at my goddamn slip gauge. Cap, stop it down with your stick. Fuck me. Shit, we've already been found out. Come on, really? Yep. Try to take them off. I've got the whole flight to get up to this. Coming for you. Keep going, Whistler. I'm gonna peel off. He knows we're here. Here we go. That's fine. I'll push on the one that went by on him. God damn it, how did that fing miss? Are you kidding me? F*** me sideways, that's annoying. Got fire to the north, try to take up north. Do it. Okay, uh, yeah, uh, focus, focus on Whistler, he's the one trying to do the strike. I'm just trying to keep these guys busy. Copy that, I'm coming in, I'm on the way to the channel. I'll go for the target. I'm hitting the bell. Engine's going out. Fucking A. I'm on one. Never mind, he does have he does have a rocket. Hi, um uh, There's a bus down there in a the left orbit. I'm on him. Right. Speed fire pedals and speed fire chair. Don't miss. I'm dragging a speed. One P51 down. 
Hits. I'm getting out of here, I've been here. I had got the ganged up on, I'm out of here. I'm looking for you, still on the deck. Son of a bitch. Uh, negative. Might just be a fuel leak. I'm not having a good day, Valley Humans. I'm not having a good day. Damn it. So frustrating. I'm heading home to get repaired, I can't fight like this. Yeah, I'm trying to find you down there, Cap. I've gone high, I'm safe. Right, yep. Fuck it, let's go and have him. Are they still on you? Nope. Alright, Roger. I'm just gonna resume over the port here then. Tony got them lights off cover, you look ridiculous. I don't have my lights on. Oh, someone does. Yeah, I've got the red belly cap. Yeah, get him. Yeah, it's gonna take a while to climb that high, but I'll move that way. I don't, I have half of a hand. I'm still managing to fly. How is this possible? Hello, the hero! Oh, you got it, did you? Look at him, he sure did, I see it. I'm gonna go for second attacks. Oh, that's hard to see down there. I don't know what that was, I don't want to know what it was. Thank you, I'm going in. Thank you. I'm gonna double tap the radar because I don't know if it's actually dead.
Oh, now it's dead. That's good smoking now. We're done. Thank you. I'm going for you. I'm on him. I'm on him. I'm on him. Keep going. I've got so much altitude on him. Keep going, Paul. You clear? You clear? Thank you. Turning right, I'm gonna shoot here. Yeah, those mobs are coming high. They're climbing a bit more now, 16,000. With at least three Spitfire escorts. Oh, come on. God damn, this is not my day. I'm on your six high. I'm on him. I'm going to get him. Oh, whoa, 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 easy now, easy now, come on, calm down. Let's not make a scene here. I kind of want to step out of the break. I'm trying to make the other one move so I can take these mobs in. That's a bit more like it. That's a bit more like it. He's on fire. He's on goddamn fire. I just set a Spitfire's Merlin on fire. I will take friggin' that, baby. I will take that. She's on the UUP. I'm on the UUP. I'm on the UUP. Where are you going? Going after Marcus now. I'm on the 6th of Tutorial. Where are you going? Where are you going? He's going to kill himself. He's going to kill himself flying like Breaking. that. Where's he going? Where's he going? I'm just. You do that. I'm just going to yo yo. I'm not going to go into scissors, mate. I'm not going into scissors. One of the Moses is diving down. Yep, yeah, I see it. I'm gonna go for the high one. Break, break, break that morning. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna run, I'm gonna run. Roger. Oh, damn it. God damn it, it's a shit f***ing day. Oh, man. Why did I do that? Never mind. Live and learn. He's turning bad, probably trying to drive me to the spit, but I think I got enough speed I can stay with him. One was he smoked on fire, he's down.
Spitfire. Run, hi, run! Spitfire, Bill. That is a friggin' Spitfire race. Who the hell is that? Are you Cortana?
Come on, baby, you can do this, you can do this. Hey, see you, boss. Come on, fun. Get it on the ground, get it on the ground, get it on the ground. Torpedo in the water, torpedo in the water. I've got eyes on the lead bomber we can today. <laughs> yeah, the, slow, the slower I get, the, the less authority I have, turn control authority I have, so, uh, yeah. I keep rolling to the right. <laughs> Negative, you're supposed to be the last one, not?
Oss har stått den, oss har stått den. Och den går Oh. Oh well. Ah. Yeah, I'll just give a general overview and then you can go group by group. Um, pretty good work uh, by the Blue 4 um, Mustang Strike took out the, the radar at <laughs> great peril to themselves. Um, and then our Mozzie Strike, uh, well, I missed the target uh, and then got taken out. Uh, and. Uh, the B-17 strike um, managed to make it through. It was a bit of a milk run for them. They only lost one aircraft. Um, uh, and then, yeah, I think uh, overall pretty pretty good. Sorry, it was a bit of a short mission. Um, I expected it to last a bit longer than that. Uh, I see there was a, a Axis Ju-88 bomber formation managed to get through and drop their um, torpedoes against a, a vessel. Um, otherwise, uh, yeah, let's go through flight by flight, Cap. Uh, blue send, quickly, please. Uh, yeah, escort flight. We formed up, escorted the B-17s into Dunkirk. I think they dropped the bombs. We didn't see it, but yeah, they... they did. They did. They did a good job, yeah. Yeah, so they did that, and then um, we got engaged by some bandits. I think Chopsticks had some control issues, and then I had a fight with Red Eye, which uh, didn't go too well, but... Good fun. Yeah, it's good fun. Mm. And the boys. Uh, next group, Blue. Yes, that'd be uh, the other Mustangs with Colt for the strike on the radars. Well, we knew initiative was going to be the sole key to it or any kind of a chance at victory for our, our objective, given the task on us. Uh, though we only were able to go three in at first because uh, Roadkill had uh, some horrible DCS crashes. Unfortunately, he couldn't help that. Uh, but we did manage to get in. Uh, I took point uh, trying to be the main lookout. Didn't expect to survive. And uh, we got... The radar sighted, but I couldn't engage it. Uh, someone shot me down prior to that. I did manage to ditch my craft and bail out and had a nice view of the uh, Calais port being bombarded by B-17s. That was beautiful. And uh, Grump and LO combined managed to take out the uh, radar facility. And uh, Roadkill oh. later on managed to get back and uh, harass some of the other fighters. Boys, do you know how we spotted you, by the way? I had a hint that it was possibly the sun glinting on our wings. Nope, it was. It was really obvious. You're seeing. You'll kick yourself. Grump was flying so low, he made a massive wake behind him, and so we all just homed on in it up from like 20 miles away. Oh, all right. How about that? He did say he was That's kissing a... the sea. He really is... was. It was like a boat. That is a thing. Everyone died for that plane. It was hilarious. And I and I was the one that managed to get back get back home. Really. Yes, well, you sort Tack of. Tacu so, says you died when I shot you. Oh, maybe yep. you're, you're still alive. So this is how it worked out. Listen, listen. This is how it worked out. Uh, I think we uh, experienced a collision to which you didn't die annoyingly, and I lost half of my right wing. The game considered me dead, huh. but I was still flying. So mm -hmm. I flew the rest. I destroyed the other radar sites, uh, called that a mission success, and then did a couple more strafing runs, and then decided that I've uh, <clears throat> ran my luck out. And uh, RTB managed to get back all the way to the base, but could not land. Roger. Destruction of the radar as quickly as possible was going to guarantee a chance that the B-17s not being sighted on the way in, and it worked perfectly. Well done, boys. Uh, next group, please. It's the Mozzies. Pretty pleased. Board. I guess it's the Mozzies next, because the other flights are empty. So myself and Tuxor uh, took off, uh, orbited to climb up and meet the spits that were waiting for us. Uh, the general plan for us was to go in high, um, and it kind of worked. Uh, got to the target, to, but I released my bombs a little bit late, um, and uh, unfortunately, they just fell a bit long. Didn't hit the, didn't hit the um, ship, but hit uh, oil storage instead. So at least I contributed a little bit to the Allied pole target. But uh, yeah, and then poor Toxo. I don't know, Toxo. Normally, <laughs> you always take a beating for me. So is that what happened this time? It's a job, boys. Don't worry. I think I. Th he went yeah, to the shops. I, he, got, he got killed and then went to the shops. Yeah, I think so. I think he he got he got picked on again because mm -hmm. uh, the the baddies always pick on my wingman. I don't mm -hmm. know why. Um, so yeah, then I uh, I broke my own rule because normally what I do is boom and zoom with the mozzie, and instead of climbing up, I carried on low, lost all my energy, and then someone caught up with me and shot me down. <laughs> okay. Oh well, that's it from the mozzies. Hold on, next group. <sighs> uh, spit escort for the mozzies. Uh, flew up to orbit at 15,000, joined by the Mozzies, headed across the channel. 
as the mozzies uh, dived in, there was no way the spits could keep up with them, which is historically accurate, of course. Um, we just ended up uh, in the general fur, fur ball over Calais. I was uh, I cooked my engine in the end, got one Anton, and then landed out in Calais just by the AAA and uh, headed for the local wine bar. We saw that. Great flying by Spitfire pilots today, guys. You were very hard to kill. Well, similarly, we didn't even kill to the end, so that was really good. Anything from Shrek and Jackal? Nothing from me. Nothing from Shrek. I got shot down early. Next group, boys. And he'll flight. Uh, we want to go east to make kind of a diversion, drag some forces there, but that didn't work. So uh, when we saw that there was an intercept for the group of uh, Whistler, we came in as fast as we could. And I think we managed to uh, draw a bit of uh, attention on us. Initially, um, you guys were doing really very good boom and zoom, but I was trying to negate that by staying right under you and low, so you couldn't really zoom on me. And that, well, that worked well for you until some of you started making uh, errors and getting in uh, turn fights. So that way we were able to shoot down. Uh, I shot you down, Cap. Yeah, and uh, Andres, did you shot someone down? Yeah, I think I shot down Makabu. Uh, we took a lot of damage because, uh, well, you were many more than us. Uh, we had like three or four of you against us mm -hmm. too at some point. Okay. Uh, I took so much damage, uh, I could barely fly my plane, uh, I couldn't trim it, it was just going left and right all the time. Tried to make it back to the, the other side of the pond, but I ran out of fuel, I guess I lost more than a tank. And uh, Andres, did you make it back to base? Yeah, I made it back and landed. Okay, Honestly, you were the one I was fighting at the end then, Andres. Mm. Yeah. All right. And uh, that's it for Enfield. Well done, next group. I think it's all set up. Right, uh, I had a miserable time. It started off okay. We, because we didn't have our MW50, so we were down three or four hundred horsepower. We said boom and zoom only. Do not tangle with any Spitfires. That worked well until the Spitfires were really frustrating us, and we thought bollocks. I'm getting into a dogfight. And of course, we immediately died. Down on horsepower, couldn't turn with them, which is just stupid. So I got really frustrated. But that's the way it is. Um, anything from high? You go, go high four on. But eventually got outgunned, I think, by Spitfire's question mark. Yeah. Well, what I have to say real quick is just that uh, at the beginning I have SRS problems there. I couldn't find, couldn't get to channel 39. So use 40. Then we, when we went out, and like Cap says, we engaged Spitfires. We have a nice long fight using boom and zoom tactics. I think Cap, got, you got shot down, right, man? Or one of those. Yeah. Then I got scratched at one speed. And cross the channel was going back home. Uh, Try to open my SRS to figure out that, and with my head looking down, oh, you I died. Oh, well, that's a high <laughs> problem, isn't it? Yes, but it was great. Yeah, Spitfires flew great. I bet everybody else did too. But uh, Spitfires are the ones that we fought, so yeah, it was hard. great. Really hard. Yeah, Roger. Yeah, uh, good job. Um, uh, Anton. Um, maybe Mikabu here. Um, uh, Red and I, we took off um, from Dunkirk, had some struggles in the beginning uh, with uh, the short runway there. Uh, but eventually we managed to get into the air. Um, we split it up. I went for the Mossies. Um, I think, Red, you uh, went into the furball. Um, I managed to kill one of the Mossies and then tried my luck in raiding with a Spitfire and got killed uh, by Andres. And that was my glory end. Uh, that's a really good flying from the Andons today. You guys, at least one of you lasted till the end. And you got some good killing as well, so well done. Uh, but that's not, easy, not an easy plane to fly. Doris. Yeah, um, took off. Matrix had an injured failure. Um, that was the end of my mission. The others, I'll leave them to debrief as uh, they got a bit considerably further than I did. Mm. Quickly, please. Mm, shot down a few things, tangled with Andres over the water for a while till I was out of fuel and then flew home and landed. Uh, man of the match today, cover. 
would not die. Just would not die. Shot down three guys, three confirmed kills. And he, he was everywhere the action was. I don't know how he did that. It's crazy, man. It's uh, my first fixed wing mission, and right. I have a ton to learn. Who are you? I think it's Gak, isn't it? It's Gak. Ah, oh, right. Yeah, that's me. Well done, Gak. You lived to the end, though, didn't you, Gak? Yes, I landed and didn't make a fool of myself. You know what, Gak? You saw that. You the only one to put bullets into a B-17. This, this uh, you know what? You survived a hell of a lot longer than me, and I've been doing this for a lot of years, so it just shows, guys. Right, really good mission, top-notch. Um, Warbird missions aren't meant to be long, guys. This is An hour is perfect for a Warbird mission. It's very intense. It's very exhausting. It's very full-on action. I wouldn't want it much longer. It's perfect, really. Uh, there's nothing else to say, guys. Really good. I um, hope you enjoyed that. And... You viewers out there, be sure to check out Grim Reapers 2 for our shorts, Task Force Athena, Arma Ops, as well as some things that we do with the public, uh, Wreckfest and other things we do for our public days. Roger, thank you, and we'll see you later.